So getting started in Pages. When you open up Pages, select a blank uh, sheet for your infographic work. That way you're going to have a blank canvas. Um, you can go to File and Page Setup to select the size that you're going to use. I think for an infographic, usually it's nice to work in A3. You've got a little bit more room to put infographics on. But knowing what size it's going to be in the end is pretty important. And the next thing I like to do is just reduce the size of my page so that I can actually see the whole canvas on my screen. So I'm going to go to zoom level 50% just so I can see my whole canvas. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up so that I've got some alignment guides. Now alignment guides are very important so that I can align different elements and be very uh, deliberate in the choices that I make on where I'm going to put my elements on the page. So I'm going to have different charts, graphics, and text boxes here, and I want to make sure that I place those in a way that uh, looks good in the end. And so to do that, I'm going to do a couple things. First thing, under the Pages menu, I'm going to go to Preferences, and I'm going to go to the Rulers tab, and I'm going to make sure that I say Enable the Vertical Ruler, and I want to show alignment guides both in the center and at object edges. So I'm going to close that, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the View menu and say Show me the rulers can also do this by pressing Command R, but now both my rulers are on vertical and horizontal. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this little space up here, um, and I'm going to click, and you'll notice it turns into the double-headed arrow, and I'm going to drag down, and I'm going to drag out some alignment guides onto my page, and I'm going to roughly try to split this page into equal thirds. I'm not actually concern that it's exactly thirds. If you're worried about that, you can actually measure the page and do that. But I just want to have some visual guides here that I can use. So I'm going to split this roughly into equal thirds and see how that goes. Um, because I've got also a lot more vertical space, I think I'm going to go in and add some more. So I'm going to split this actually into six vertically and three horizontally. So now that I have these alignment guides here, essentially what I've got set up now is a grid. And this grid I'm going to use to align all of my elements. These points of intersection on the grid are pretty strong. So um, this point here, there, right, this space here, these are kind of the high impact areas of my design. So I want to think about that and so now I can align my elements sort of in three columns across, or I can combine two together to make like a two-third, one-third kind of thing. And I'm going to use this um, as a way to make my design look good. So setting up these guides is an important first step. The next thing I want to point out is that Although I have a cursor on my page, I'm not going to really add anything by typing in the background. Uh, instead, I'm going to add elements by um, adding text boxes. So for example, I'm going to make my heading right now. My headline this is going to be about Myanmar, so I'm just going to say Myanmar Timber. And I'm going to go ahead and make that big and beautiful just by going over here to this menu. If this menu isn't there for you, you just click on the little format paint symbol and it will appear. But I'm going to bump up my size until I've got a good heading size that looks decent. I might adjust it later with size and color, but I've got that much. And now I've lost some of my text, so I'm just going to drag it out. Now I'm going to go into um, my text element here and I'm going to change this so that it's in a nice strong heading font. Kind of like Keep Calm, so I'm just going to crank it up, just make it a little bit bigger so that I've got a pretty clear heading here. All right. 
So there's my title on my page. I've added it as a text box. Now I can go ahead and add other elements. So for example, I can just add a shape here. But notice what happens when I get this thing close. So this is a good point to point a good time to point this out to you about pages is that whenever you add an element, whether it's a text box or a shape, all of these elements come in with text wrap turned to automatic. And that means that when you add an element on top of another one, it's going to push it out of the way. So what I like to do is I like to select those things and turn it to text wrap none. And now I can layer them on top of each other. So for example, I can right click and send that to back and I can get this little bar kind of behind my um, title and I can kind of make it work like that. And now I'm off, um, you know, started here with uh, a little bit of a headline and now I can go ahead and do a little bit more design. So important things to remember when you're setting up pages. Make sure that you set up your grid first. Make sure that you show your rulers and pull out those guidelines. And then use elements that you can move around. So adding text boxes instead of just typing on the page allows you to move those around and have the ultimate flexibility. And then remember to whenever you add an element, you're going to have to go over here to arrange and change text wrap to none.